Good morning, folks, as we watch a plasma filament dance around the southern solar polar crown. Know that we've got top stories coming up today in both weather and science. But let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com, finding the last 24 hours on our star. Not much activity, but we're focused on the bright incoming active region on the left and the diagonal dark thin plasma filament line just in front of it. The filament appears to be surviving onto the Earth-facing disk and will face us tomorrow, but the active region in 171 angstroms is a bit of a flex, belying how little chance it actually has to produce solar flares. Despite the magnetic surface area, there don't appear to be any umbral cores, no actual sunspots. Hopefully it won't be building any today. Solar wind here. Disaster prediction app users waiting for the speed ramp up after last night's alert were happy to see it modestly fail to crack 500 kilometers per second, fail to do much more than bump up the KP index, but still managed to produce a show for those at high latitude. Gorgeous curtain there. The next stream is already flowing towards Earth from that northern coronal hole, looking like the 7th or the 8th is when it would impact that Earth, and we are also in a brief seismic alert for excess magnitude overnight due to its IMF and Alphan waves. Folks, the weather outlook today shows how wild the U.S. is right now. Heat and high wind driving major fire danger while storm surges and record snowfall have become deadly in the northeast with a bombed out storm. The record snow hit the west as well, and what it takes for snow records to fall in Alberta must have been quite a thing. Folks, today's top stories relate to my dark matter presentation from Observing the Frontier. It is the latest of the eight talks posted thus far, and if you watched it, you know why every realization of our need to better understand the dust in the universe indicates that our universe is hiding something, not like we haven't studied Orion before either. Perhaps more critically, the interstellar and intergalactic plasma and dust accretion model gets a boost as not only did we learn that AGN blast out more plasma from more stars out through the galaxy, but any planets unlucky enough to form near the center could be significant contributors to that accretable mass. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your world of wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.